Okay, before we get started on setting up DICOM and connectivity on the GE Logic E, there's a few things you need to get. First thing is you need to speak to your IT department and first get an Ethernet cable and make sure you can get a connection in your office and then find out if they're using DHCP or if you need a static IP address. Only this IT person will know or you will know if you're familiar with your network if your router uses DHCP to give something called an IP address to your machine or if you need to enter that manually. The next thing is whoever is running your DICOM or PAC system needs to give you some information. This information includes things like an AE title, an IP address, a port number, and they may have some other specific information about a computer name or something like that, but make sure you get at least those three items from the person hosting your DICOM server or PAC system. Once you have that, go ahead and connect uh, your system to the network using the Ethernet cable you were provided, and then you're going to click on this utility key. Now, this is one of the most unintuitive setups of all ultrasound machines, and most people do struggle with this. It's the most common system we have problems with with connectivity because it's simply not that intuitive. So we'll walk through it. First thing you're going to want to do is hit that utility key and come on up and click on connectivity, and then start with the TCP IP. So I hovered over this and we have the computer name. Now this is where somebody, your IT person may have given you something to write in there. Logic E is the default. You can leave it there unless somebody else tells you to change it. Hopefully you have DHCP enabled and you can just leave this check marked if it's already checked. Otherwise you'll need to enter your own IP address, subnet mask and default gateway that was provided by your IT person and only that person or the person familiar with your router can give you that information. And when you're speaking with them, make sure that there's no firewall blocking you from uh, sending outgoing traffic from the ultrasound machine uh, in the DICOM format. If you make any changes to this, you will have to reboot the system. So hopefully you just have DHCP and you can get on the network and then you'll move on to step two. Next you're going to go over to your device and this is going to be the server that you're going to send it to. They would have given you this information. I'm going to go ahead and click add. Now this is where it's quite different from other machines. You're actually entering that DICOM server in a couple different